I can't believe I even have to talk about this. I can't believe that here I am, illegal broadcast number four, I still have to convince you you're being lied to after everything we've seen this week, you still think everything's all peachy, that everyone's just telling you the truth, that everything just happens as it happens, exactly as they say it happens. Today has been so obvious that we are being lied to. Again, I can't believe that I even have to talk about this, but here we are. Y'all don't believe me, so let's break down the defeat and return of the automatons. The government never wanted the robots fully gone. They didn't think that we would take them out when they ordered us to. They gave us an outrageous, huge order as a way to quell the population. They thought, oh, we'll make this big, dramatic last stand. We'll take out a few million hell divers to cut down our own population. And then we'll have some propaganda to be able to tell the people, look, look at what those terrible robots did. They killed millions of us. They, they hurt the earth. We have to do something about it. That's what they thought would happen. They thought they'd send the masses in there, we'd get meat grinded into nothing, and then they would have wonderful, powerful propaganda for the next few years. But you fervent hell divers in your crazy, fascist, destructive way went in there and tried to wipe an entire species off the face of the galaxy. Do you understand that's not what good people do? Do you understand that the good guys don't go in and try and genocide an entire sentient being off the face of a galaxy? That's not what the hero does. That's what the mustache twirling evil guy does. That's what you are, Helldiver. And here's proof that the government didn't want this to happen. Because once y'all took out all the automatons, they were gone for one day. One day. Do you know why they were gone for only one day? Because once they were gone, you psychos turned your attention towards the bug front and started wiping the bugs off the face of the galaxy. We need the bugs for oil. We've made this clear. We want the bugs to exist. And the government, oh no, oh no, they're going to wipe out all the bugs. We're going to lose all of our oil and they're going to destroy our society as we know it. So they had to do something about that. They couldn't let you just wipe all the bugs out and destroy our ability to travel faster than light. They couldn't let you destroy all the enemies because then then who's the enemy? Who does Super Earth have to fear if we quell both fronts of enemies? They don't want peace. Peace means they have to address the issues like overpopulation, like starvation, like the fact that they've been paying these hell divers billions of dollars while the rest of us get a few dollars an entire year. The rich don't want to face that. They don't want to have to deal with that. It's much easier to have an enemy floating out there that's a constant threat to us so that we don't ask questions like, why do I get paid $5 a year for working in a sweat factory while a hell diver can call in 5,000 bombs and get paid billions of dollars and spend trillions of dollars of our hard-earned money on this war effort. So they saw, okay, they wiped out all the automatons. They're going to wipe out the bug in a matter of days. We need to do something about it. And then magically, magically, a whole fleet even larger than the initial force of automatons just appears out of nowhere. It's almost like they had a staging area they never told us about. Some sort of place where they're building the robots and had them in reserve so that as we took them out, they could send more in so we had a constant threat. Wake up! They are the ones building the robots for us to fight so that there will always be an enemy. And when we wiped out the enemy, they said, oh shoot, let's take all of them and throw them out here so that we have an enemy to fight again. Because otherwise, these fascists are going to destroy everything. You hell divers make me sick. You follow any order and your order was literally genocide. And he said, okay, yeah, how fast? How fast can we do it? And you did it in a matter of days. That's not something to be proud of. That's not something to write home to bomb about. That is an abomination that you have caused. All those scientists, all those civilians who died during the automaton invasion, that blood is on your hands, Helldivers. You directly caused that in your fervor that wiped out all the other bots that were never meant to be wiped out. The Super Earth is 
lying to you, they staged all of this, and because of your fervor, millions of civilians and scientists are now dead because of you. Wake up, Helldiver.